Now, Pat Aylward, you've done a few things around Westport Town since you came here. I oh, was just a, a few minor things. I just got mm. involved. Uh, uh, I'm one of these people that believes in, in participating and, and getting actively involved mm. in various different things. And So when I came to Westport here first, and again, I found it a great way of meeting people and getting to know people. I, uh, first of all, joined Westport Tourism and... Uh, and then that naturally evolved into Destination Westport. And people say, what's the difference between uh, Westport Tourism and Destination Westport? Uh, Westport Tourism is a group of voluntary people, non-business people who want to give back something to the town and would be sort of like the, the Tidy Towns Committee in Westport evolved out of Westport Tourism. Mm. Right, just giving it. But whereas Destination Westport was people of a business sense who, who wanted to come together and who wants to pool resources together in order to improve the town. And uh, I think that's one of the unheralded success stories of Westport because Destination Westport set about to put uh, Westport as a town on the map, both nationally and internationally. And I think most people will agree they've been extremely successful in doing that. Were they the first to do that in the country, do you think? They were the first to do it in such a successful way, Mm. yeah. And, uh, you know... Mainly, people don't realise, and uh, a lot of people don't realise, that hotels drive a town, right? Uh, like pub, it's very hard to get publicans or restaurant owners together in an organised body to actually pool sufficient resources to actually pull a town along. But hotels quietly invest huge amounts of money in uh, attracting people to their destination. Mm. So the beauty about Westport, when we got involved in it, was the, the, the hotels were nearly all... Uh, privately owned and even the one hotel at the time I think was the Atlantic Coast at the time which wasn't privately owned they came in hook line and sinker as well and joined the committee and put their money where their mouth was or whatever you know so the the hotels here in town uh, the level of cooperation was phenomenal you know Mm. like at the time I just give an example you had a three-star Castle Court Hotel which is now uh, you know has the the plaza etc and you had what was three-star at the time Hotel Westport And they would have been in direct competition with one another. Hmm. But we managed to put that aside and uh, move forward together. And I think there's huge cohesion in the town through that. And that's it's the envy of many uh, a town. uh, And it's very hard to achieve that people have to when they walk in the door at a meeting, they have to leave behind their own, you know, properties, interests and think the big picture. And everyone in Westport was able to think the big picture. And that's that's how it was achieved. Yeah. It's mostly based on marketing, is it? Marketing? Thing? Marketing, yeah, mainly marketing. Quiet mm. marketing. People don't realise they see that article or they see that uh, television piece or nationwide or they see that a lot of hard work goes into all that. You into know? getting it, is it? Yeah, and getting it. I remember one, one um, uh, what you call the, the rector who was here, who was the very good flautist. Uh, oh, uh... You know... I, I cannot. Or you used to play Matt Malizer, and Yeah, I used to play with Matt Malizer. We'll mm. think of his name in a minute, right? But I remember uh, we approached uh, Nationwide and uh, I did this thing and I wrote up this article and I said there's this Guinness drinking uh, Irish, traditional Irish music, musician. I think he'd one other attribute or whatever. And I wrote this off to Nationwide or whatever and thought nothing of it, right? And uh, about a, a year later or whatever, now unknowns to me, Nationwide had come down and they'd interviewed him, right? And I remember seeing the, uh, the, uh, the interview on television and the presenter de facto read out my email, right? What's a uh, Guinness drinking traditional Irish movie? Oh, oh sorry, a uh, fluent Irish speaker. Was the third thing. That's right. Fluent Irish speaker was the three things, right? Mm -hmm. And they said it was as if they were reading out my email of a few years previously, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just, I must, I nearly was astounded to see that a bit of work you did and it finally, uh, you know, bore fruit. You know, it was great publicity for the town, you know? But it's all little things like that. Would they have a big budget now? They would have. There's Mm. serious money being spent by the hotels, Mm. yeah. Mm. You're talking hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. And if you coordinated, like, why, why should. If I take those two hotels again, why should the Castle Court and, and, and uh, Hotel Westport, Hotel Westport be, be sort of advertising in two separate ads on the one paper? Now, now not I'm just using now it's gone online mm. and all that. But it makes no sense. You know, mm. it's a waste of money, you know. So they pooled all the resources to make sure that they, they, they sort of coordinated their, their marketing budgets, you know. Mm-hmm. And like what came out of the Destination Westport one was, and I remember asking someone, 
who was on the original committee and one of the marketing ladies was leaving and asked, you know, what was the difference between when Destination Westport was set up and prior to that? And she said that uh, the prior to Destination Westport setting up, if someone made a, an inquiry in their hotel and they, uh, they couldn't take it, they give the number of the other hotel, yes, mm. and they try and encourage them to, to, to make the phone call, right? But the difference now with Destination Westport is before they even hung up, they would make the call to the other hotel and they'd ensure that the business went to the other mm. hotel in town. And that was, when I heard that, that was the, the icing on the cake. It was just that, that, that things had moved, progressed so well that there's that level of cooperation. It was fabulous, really. mm. you know, that's what it's all about.